This is quite neat. It's uh, made by a company called Starpoint. I don't know if they still make them anymore, but it was designed for um, fruit machines, or as in America you'd call them slot machines, but basically gaming machines, and it was the feature that added a dice to the game. And the dice cup here is mounted on a stepper motor. Most of these games are based on stepper motor drives because they already had them for the reels. And there's a infrared slotted switch at the bottom and a vein that passes through it. But it's interesting that it only passes through it on every three full revolutions. The gearing uh, here is just designed to do that. So, for instance, uh, if I then bring this round, one revolution, the vein here is in the wrong position. It just skirts past it. If I bring it round again, it's pointing the opposite direction, but it skirts past it. And then when I bring it round the uh, third time, it cuts through the infrared switch. And at that point, it knows that the dice is actually indicating a one. And if I turn this round exactly one half turn, it's then displaying a three. And another half turn, it's displaying a five. Then another half turn, it's displaying the six. Another half turn, four... And finally, um, two. And at that point then, as it goes back down, the vein's going to cut the infrared switch. It's going to know where it is, and it's going to be back at the one. So by doing that, uh, this rolling dice could, uh, basically, it could um, just, the, the game system could just say, I'm going to display a three, and then it would actually just spin it around until it displayed the three. Uh, so it's quite neat. It's a very visual effect. When it's rotating, it has this sort of tumbling dice effect. It's quite a visual effect. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a neat, chunky device. I quite like it. It's visually quite pleasing. Um, and the mechanism, the way it works, is also quite nice. Very, very neat indeed.